the major events at Valley Forge uh, play an important part in the story of the American Revolution. The Continental Army was not doing well in 1777, and George Washington was trying to prevent the British from overtaking the city of Philadelphia, but he failed. And he needed a place to spend the winter to revive the troops. And at this time, the Continental Congress, which had fled Philadelphia and was now in York, Pennsylvania, had some doubts about Washington's leadership because the military campaign was not going very well. So Washington needed a place to sort of reconvince the Continental Congress that he should be the commander in chief and also be close enough to Philadelphia to prevent the British from going any further and to refresh his troops. Valley Forge, in some ways, the winner at Valley Forge of 77, 78, formed a very important part of the war because during this winter, new strategies were made, confidence in Washington was renewed and put back, and the troops got some very important training that led to successes in the war. And in April of 1775, when the shooting started, he was named Commander-in-Chief of the whole Continental Army, not just the Army of Valley Forge. The Continental Army was the army that was formed as a result of the shooting war starting in April of 1775 because of Lexington and Concord and the British attack there. It was very much a civilian army, at this point an untrained army uh, that didn't have even uniforms, but it was the force that Washington, the only force that he had to fight the British. And George Washington used military tactics that he learned from the Indians, such as guerrilla warfare, because he understood, because the army was not well trained, um, people could shoot well because they hunted, etc. But he knew he could not win meeting the British army uh, face to face in a traditional battle such as at Brandywine or Germantown and in fact he failed. But his use of the Continental Army and eventually building these men who were just farmers, just everyday people who had never fought before uh, was a minor miracle. Some key points of the location was that it formed a natural defense. The people in the, the center of Valley Forge were surrounded by sort of natural rolling hills and things that made it made them feel safer. They were also uh, close to trade routes. It was along the Schuylkill River, so they had access to water, uh, and they could get out and get to York, Pennsylvania to meet the Congress. So it was a good location in terms of safety, and it was a good location in terms of getting food, getting communication to the Continental Congress. Earlier, and this is December of 1777 and 1778, and at this time, the British controlled the city of Philadelphia. But a year earlier, in the summer of 1776, the Continental Congress, which was then sitting in Philadelphia, decided to push for independence because up to that point the colonists were fighting or arguing for we want our rights as British and we want to be we don't mind being a colony or colonists but we want our rights as British but by the summer of 1776 enough people in the colonies and in the Continental Congress said we want our independence. We want to break away from England and we want to create our own country. And Thomas Jefferson was given the job of writing an official Declaration of Independence, which was officially announced or written and shown up on July 4th, 1776. But because if the people who signed it. When you see the document today, there are signatures at the bottom. But that did not exist in 1776, because if the British caught them 
and got this document and read their names, they would have been hung for treason. And so that summer, uh, it took a while before the signatures showed up because it was a great concern. Uh, and then we have the Liberty Bell, okay, which is rung during that summer and became a symbol of the fight for liberty and freedom. The best way to view Valley Forge, I think, is to take one of the tours. The visitor center is an important place to begin your visit and there's information there and some talks and other kinds of things. And then I would take a guided tour and I would go through uh, Washington's headquarters and where the different areas where the soldiers lived and actually learned learn about their experiences and that is very carefully uh, laid out. Valley Forge Park fulfills many uh, roles for the people in the area. It has of course the historic area of the park itself to go and learn but it is also a beautiful nature preserve so that you can hike through the park and see different areas of nature. Uh, there are bike trails that people bike through the park in the area. So it's a wonderful outdoor place to experience nature as well as to experience the history of a couple hundred years ago. It's so important to treasure Valley Forge and areas like it in this region that are so important to our history. Because without that winter at Valley Forge, the Continental Army would have been in really, really bad shape. And one could possibly argue that the revolution would not have been won, at least not at that time. And so I would leave everyone with the thought that treasure and enjoy and learn from what we have in the Philadelphia region, especially Valley Forge.